Hi there, Phil here from Productive Project Solutions. In this video, I have a short demo to show you where I've solved one of the thorniest challenges I've come across within the Smartsheet community. That is, how do I get new rows added to a sheet to automatically assume hierarchy? Use cases for this include indenting lines under a parent order row, or risk items within a parent section of a risk assessment, or team member names within a team sheet. This demo is based around an advanced CRM order and stock management solution that we have available. So let's get started. Here we have a dashboard showing a list of items available to order, as well as an indication of things like the item number, uh, unit costs, and the global stock balance. On the right, I have an order entry form where I enter my name or the name of an organization I'm ordering on behalf of. I have a list of existing customers loaded in here, so I'm going to select one now. Today we are going to be, who are we going to be? Let's be the Avengers. This opens up the item entry form. Now if I select the first SKU that I want to order, so let's, uh, let's order a load of boots, shall we? Uh, let's go for some, some green boots, so that's SKU 70. Let's get uh, two pairs of those. Maybe we'll do some orange boots as well, just for simplicity. It's number 72. Maybe we'll do three pairs of them. And we can get some lovely pink boots too. So let's pick SKU 73. Have five pairs of those if you like pink. If I now switch over to our order book, you can see that these items have now come in underneath the parent row that relates to the, uh, the client name that I, um, that I entered in the first form. And you can see that they're coming in live. There's one more to, to be added in now, the, uh, the pink boots. So you can see this is a 100% live demo and, um, and they are assuming a hierarchy directly underneath. So if I expand and close this, you can see that those rows are already embedded under there. Just wait for this one more to come in. What we're also doing at the parent row level is uh, we're, we're putting some summary information so you can now see that we've got every stock keeping unit, every item name, quantities, and then numbers. So what this allows you to do is if you're using the document generator, you can create invoices from a single row. So there you have it. Auto hierarchy is indeed possible within Smartsheet. All you need are Smartsheet licenses, the JIRA connector, and a free JIRA license. If you want to find out more, do get in contact via the form link in the description. Also give us a like and subscribe if you want to keep abreast of our latest video content. Thanks and keep an eye out for more great tips and solutions in future videos.